Let's get right into today's practice question. A 30-year-old white Ashkenazi Jewish male presents to the ED complaining of left lower quadrant abdominal pain and bloody diarrhea for the past week. The patient undergoes a colonoscopy, which reveals mucosal and submucosal lesions with pseudopolyp formation. Which of the following findings is an extraintestinal manifestation unique to this condition? A. Back pain and morning stiffness that improves with activity. B. Erosive sclerosis and calcifications in the sacroiliac joint. C. Nodular pretibial inflammation in the submucosal fat. D. Periocular pain, lacrimation, and hyperemia. Or E. Inflammation of the intrahepatic and extrahepatic bile ducts. If you want some time to think about this practice question, please pause the video because I'm going to give you the correct answer. Okay, the correct answer to this question is choice E, inflammation of the intrahepatic and extrahepatic bile ducts. Let's go through this practice question and look at the vignette and see what you needed to pick out in order to determine what condition or what disease this practice question was alluding to. So we have an Ashkenazi Jewish male who's complaining of left lower quadrant abdominal pain. He's having bloody diarrhea. The colonoscopy shows the histopathological findings of mucosal and submucosal lesions, specifically with pseudopolyp formation. What we're talking about here is ulcerative colitis, okay? Ulcerative colitis. And what this question is really tasking you to do is to look through choices A through E and pick out the one associated condition that's associated with ulcerative colitis and is specific to ulcerative colitis, but not also associated with Crohn's disease. On USMLE and Comlex, most of the questions regarding either ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease will be tasking you to figure out, you know, what symptom goes with which one or what pathology goes with which one or what associations go with which one or which ANCA is positive in each one. For whatever reason, the test writers love to compare and contrast the two types of inflammatory, the two main types, I should say, of inflammatory bowel syndromes. So they're going to go after UC versus Crohn's. Now, A through E are all associated with either or both UC or Crohn's. And what I'm writing this question for is to really train your brain to differentiate between the two. Because again, on test day, that's what you're going to have to do. So if we look at the question, I think what we should do is go through all of the answer choices and write down what those answer choices are referring to. Because once you know what associated disease those answer choices are referring to, we can determine whether or not they are Crohn's, UC, or both. So choice A says back pain and morning stiffness that improves with activity. And that's, of course, referring to ankylosing spondylitis. Choice B says erosive sclerosis and calcifications in the sacroiliac joint. And this is referring to sacroiliitis. Choice C says nodular pretibial inflammation of the submucosal fat, and that's referring to erythema nodosum. And I think that the picture really does this justice. So this is erythema nodosum. Notice the little nodular roundish inflammation in the pretibial space, and that is specifically located in submucosal fat. So if you see that, that description is erythema nodosum. Choice D says periocular pain, lacrimation, and hyperemia, and that's just referring to uveitis. And then choice E, which was the correct answer for this question, was inflammation of the intrahepatic and extrahepatic bile ducts, which of course refers to primary sclerosing cholangitis. Now, if you look at these answer choices, the way that you would approach this question is to ask yourself, which one is associated with only ulcerative colitis? So if we fill in Crohn's in red and ulcerative colitis in pink, what you'll notice is that all of the answer choices, A through D, are associated with both Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. But only choice E, the description of primary sclerosing cholangitis, that's the only answer choice here that's only associated 
with ulcerative colitis. So again, the point of this question is to train your brain to understand the subtle differences and the associations that go with ulcerative colitis as compared to Crohn's. On test day, USMLE and Comlex, if they're going to give you questions about these inflammatory bowel diseases, they're going to go after the differences between Crohn's and ulcerative colitis. So not only do you need to know this, the associations, but you need to know which one goes with which disease. There's beautiful tables, and in fact, I've got a video on this on my channel that differentiates Crohn's from ulcerative colitis. So check that video out. Make sure you know this like the back of your hand because this is high yield. Good luck.